What's up guys, so uh, welcome to the new video. This video today is gonna be a little bit different because it's just gonna be one day and I'm gonna give you guys two uh, workout routines that I do if I were to work out twice in the same day. Um, I get a lot of people that ask me, you know, what's your workout routine throughout the week? What do you do? And for me, it's normally I work out once every single day and if not twice a day. And people, when they hear twice a day, they think, you know, you, you can't do that, you can't do that, that's, that's not good for you, you're not getting anything out of that. Well, for me, I do get stuff out of it because, again, I'm, I'm not working the exact same muscles every single time I work out. I don't work the same muscles two times in a row. So, for instance, today, right now, it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm at LA Fitness, about to work out with two of my coaches, and we're going to do strictly arms. So just biceps and triceps the entire time. And then tonight, I'm going to come and work out with one of my buddies, Jacob Miller, and we are going to hit chest. And now for me, I'm going to hit arms this morning, but going this afternoon, yeah, your arms are input into like your bench press, for instance, but that's enough time for my arms to, you know, regain strength and not be too fatigued for the workout this afternoon and still get such a good workout in. So, like I said, I'm here right now, LA Fitness, 5 o'clock, and I'm going to go in there and get a really good arm workout in, and then... I'll kind of go throughout the day, and then you'll got, you guys will see uh, my chest workout later today just to prove to you guys that working out twice a day is not bad for you, and you can do it and get the most out of both of the workouts. So I'm going to jump into this workout. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys once I step foot inside of LA Fitness. Come on.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the workout this morning. Uh, it was a really good workout. Uh, afterwards, I didn't put these in this because this isn't the point of this video. Um, afterwards, I did some quad extensions and some hamstring curls to help with strength in my left leg because I'm trying to keep as much strength as possible in my legs or my left leg especially before surgery because the more muscle I have before, the better and faster I can recover, hopefully. Um, but right now, I just got Chick-fil-A, as you saw. I got the grilled chicken sandwich. And then I, instead of fries, the waffle fries on the side, which are amazing, I got uh, soup. Because as of right now, I know soup's not a lot of protein, but for some reason, since my surgery's next Wednesday, and today's Thursday, starting yesterday, I'm not allowed to have any protein uh, in the form of like protein bars, protein shakes, and I can't take any of my pre-workout or my BCAs because all those things have vitamin E in them and vitamin E is a blood thinner. And I, I guess they need a week in advance without blood thinners for my surgery. So that's what I got going on right now. I'm at the doctor right now, chiropractor, I guess you could say. Yeah, Ribley Family Chiropractic and Massage. And I'm getting an adjustment as well as a massage, so that'll be good. And afterwards, I'm going to head over to LA Fitness and get my chest workout in that I told you guys about. The workout should be really good. I don't think I'm doing it with anybody. I was going to do it with Jacob Miller. It's his birthday today, and he's also sick, so that's not going to work out. And then I was going to do it with Garen, which y'all have seen many times before. And he is at practice right now. I'm missing practice because of uh, coming to this. Because usually we have morning practice. And now I don't have morning practice today. They change it to afternoon for some reason. So I am having to miss that, which is not a big of a deal. I'm going to do my stuff tonight, though, to help with my legs some more. I'm going to roll it and a few other things. So I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. I hope you enjoyed the workout this morning. And I will see you guys I'll probably talk to y'all right before I go into the gym. And I was going to say take my pre-workout, but I can't do that. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in a second.
Yes, I do realize that I did not talk to you guys like I said I was going to before I worked out. But, as you guys just saw, the workout was really good. Just straight chest, strictly chest. It was really intense, actually. Pump was good. Um, and a lot of those exercises I did didn't superset with anything. It was just one movement at a time. One second, let me get this. Okay, that's focused, yep. Um, let's see, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, so um, one movement at a time, but it was a lot of volume work, doing about six sets of each, up to, I mean, in between eight to 15 reps, depending on the movement and depending on the weight. One movement I didn't video, I completely forgot to, was I did a uh, dumbbell bench, basically, and I went up with two dumbbells, and while I was holding one, I went, did one rep with the right arm, kept the right arm up, did one rep with the left arm, get that back and forth, total of 10 reps, so five on each side, going pretty heavy on that. Um, but overall, it was a really good workout, I think, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys enjoyed those exercises. And this is what I was just trying to prove a point was that even though I went this morning and did buys and tries or strictly arm workout or whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call it, um, I came back this afternoon and got a really good chest workout in just like if I didn't work out this morning because I gave my body time to rest and I didn't hit the same muscle group as I did this morning. Never hit the same muscle group the same day and never hit the same muscle group in, this, in, in the same day. <laughs> in the same day and never hit the same muscle group the day after as well you always want to put at least a day in between if not two so that proves my point and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far i'm about to go home make some dinner i think i'm gonna have protein pancakes so i guess it's a breakfast but it's for dinner and see what else I'm doing tonight. I'm not sure. I have a math test tomorrow, so I might be meeting up with some people to study for that. And if I do, you guys will s maybe see that. I'm not going to promise anything. But hope you guys have enjoyed these two workouts today. And stay tuned for what's next. So I just uh, went into Smoothie King. I didn't think I was going to go, but I looked up, as I talked about before, I can't have vitamin E, and so I actually looked up if the one of their smoothies that I get, the Gladiator, if it had vitamin E in it, and as from what I read, I did not find any information that there was, but I also didn't see for sure that there wasn't, so I really hope there's not. And then I also um, got that, com it's called, the complete cookie it's like a protein cookie and there was also from what i read on the back of the nutritional facts there was no vitamin e in that either so i guess that worked out uh, i really needed something to go my body that sounded weird i needed something to fuel my body after that workout um but like i said i'm gonna go home and make some protein pancakes i was just starving and i needed to stop and get something so that's why i did that definitely recommend getting that gladiator at smoothie king and also try and the complete cookie because that was really good so definitely get it Alright guys, so I just got home and I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one day vlog, I guess you could call it. Um, again, just to repeat, not repeat, just to go over or repeat what happened today. This morning, got up about 4.30, went to the gym, got an arm workout in, buys and tries from about 5 to 6.15. Did a little bit of leg work for uh, my knee and then went to school all day. I was there from 7.45 to... 
3.15. Went and got my massage and adjustment afterwards, which lasted till about 5.15. Then headed to the gym to get a chest workout. Did a chest workout for about an hour and 15 minutes. And then made my way home first. And then I went to study. And now I'm back home. So, successful day. Um, and just, again, this video was just to show you guys that you can work out twice a day and not be overtraining. People are going to, I know people are probably even going to say it on this, is that, you know, you're overtraining, you shouldn't be doing that, this and that. Well, for me, I don't need a long time to recover. And today, I hit arms this morning and chest this afternoon. So I'm not even hitting the same body part. Yes, my arms are involved in the bench press in many of these lifts, but it's not a huge part. You know, today was a chest workout, which means I'm focusing on just my chest. And again, like I said, people are going to say I'm overtraining. But for me, I recover fast. I um, My diet's good. I count my macros. And I mean, I know, I know what I'm doing to a way... It, to a point to where, I mean, if I feel like, oh shoot, like, I don't know, I'm a little iffy on this today because, you know, my shoulder's hurting me or, you know, my chest, I, I just, I did a lot to my chest, uh, you know, yesterday, but I'm going to come in and do chest again today. That's not how it works for me. I come and I separate my days, but I don't hit the same thing on the same day or back to back days. So if I hit chest and then arms today, tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit straight shoulders before the game. And then Saturday, I can come back and hit chest, or I can come back and hit buys and some other lift. That's, that's just an example. But you, or I'm not overtraining by doing this, and I'm trying to show you guys that you can do this too. It just, it depends on how you go after it. And yes, I might have been a little tired just from the day to day and could have gone to the gym and said, you know what, I'm not, I'm not feeling it today. I'm not going to do this uh, workout as good as I can. If I had that mindset, then I wouldn't. But I go into the gym every day, every morning, knowing that I'm going to get a good workout in, and every single time I do. Unfortunately, I don't have the hype that I usually have from my pre-workout. You know, I don't have the jitters or, you know, kind of scratching because I can feel it um, these last two days because I can't take pre-workout right now. But as soon as I get my surgery next week and I can get back in the gym, I'll be taking my pre-workout. And I'm also going to start taking this muscle builder that Ghost, uh, Ghost Lifestyle makes too. So... Like I said, hope you guys enjoy this video. Please take some tips from this and just know that you can train twice a day and it not be bad. You can, you can, you can. Don't listen to people that tell you that you can't because you're overtraining because you're not unless you're hitting the exact same thing. You might, you know, if you go and hit arms in the morning and then an hour later do another lift, then you technically might be overtraining or you just won't have the energy to do that workout, but you can train twice a day. So... Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and go check out some of my old videos. And if you have been coming back to my channel to watch, thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed.